What's up everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a topic that is so close to many of our hearts and that is Good Friday. As parents, we often want to find meaningful ways to teach our children about the significance of this day in the Christian faith, right? So how can we celebrate and honor Good Friday with our children in a way that they'll understand and appreciate it? Let's break it down. Number one is to start with the story. Good Friday marks the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, a pivotal event in Christian theology. Depending on the age of your children, you can tailor how you share this story. For younger kids, you might use a children's Bible or storybook that presents the narrative in a gentle but understandable way. Older children can engage with more detailed accounts from the Bible itself, such as the Gospel narratives in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You can also use visual aids like illustrations or even short videos to help bring the story to life for your kids. Number two is to reflect and discuss. After sharing the story, invite your children to reflect on what the story means to them. Ask open-ended questions like, how do you think Jesus felt on Good Friday? Or why do you think Jesus chose to sacrifice himself? This encourages critical thinking and allows them to process the emotions and concepts surrounding Good Friday in their own way. You want to be patient and supportive as they express their thoughts and feelings and provide guidance where needed. Next up is to attend a service. Attending a Good Friday service at your local church can be a powerful way to observe the day with your children. I know my church does um, a wonderful, beautiful Good, service, Good Friday service every year. So you can either go to your church services or if you don't have a church that you currently go to, uh, you can either look for one locally or so many churches ever since COVID do things online now as well. So I'm sure you could probably find a service that you could sit with and watch with your children, even from your living room. A lot of churches will offer services specifically tailored towards families, featuring age-appropriate presentations of the Good Friday story, music, prayers, and quiet reflection. I know my church has a kids' ministry where we teach um, to the children the Good Friday story, but in a way that's appropriate for children. Discussing the service afterward can help reinforce its meaning and impact that it had on your children. Another thing you can do for Good Friday is to get creative with crafts that symbolize the events of Good Friday. For example, you can make a simple cross using popsicle sticks or construction paper and discuss its significance as a symbol of Jesus' sacrifice. Another idea is to create a crown of thorns using twigs or play-doh and to talk about how it represents the suffering Jesus endured for us. These types of hands-on activities provide tangible reminders of the story and can be displayed as visual aids throughout the Easter season. Another way to celebrate and honor Good Friday is to serve others. Good Friday is a time to reflect on Jesus' selflessness, love, and sacrifice, and one way to honor that is by serving others as a family. You might volunteer at a local food bank, visit elderly neighbors to offer companionship, or participate in some type of community cleanup project. You can use this opportunity to talk with your children about the importance of compassion, empathy, and helping those in need, just as Jesus did during his ministry here on earth. And lastly, something you can do to celebrate and honor Good Friday, and something that I think we as Christian families should make a point to do all the time, not just on holidays, is to pray together. Prayer is a powerful way to connect with God and each other as a family. Set aside time on Good Friday to pray together, thanking God for his love and sacrifice demonstrated through Jesus' death on the cross. Encourage your children to express their own prayers, whether it's gratitude for blessings, requests for guidance, or prayers for others. This practice fosters a sense of unity within the family and reinforces the values of faith, love, and forgiveness, which are central to the Christian message of Good Friday. By incorporating these elements into your observance of Good Friday, you can create a meaningful and memorable experience for your children that helps them understand and appreciate the significance of such a holy day. I pray everybody has a wonderful Easter weekend with their family and that we keep our eyes focused on what this weekend is really about.